Good morning everybody Today we have another busy itinerary We need to grab the car and we are going to drive to the south We are going to reach the city of Vic and we are going to be seeing things along the way As you can see it's on raining, it's a bit windy We have around 12 degrees and we are expecting a maximum temperature of 14 So the weather should be a bit better than yesterday so this is the first stop of the day, it's a geothermal park and there are a few things that you can do here. You can see the hazer, you can put your feet on the mud and you can also boil an egg. You can purchase an egg and put it to boil on the geothermal water. I'm going to show you that. Here you can see the eggs boiling. So people would put the branch and then they would just go and explore the park. The eggs are boiling at 18 to 19 and it takes 10 to 12 minutes so all the water on in the park it's around 100 degrees so you shouldn't touch it in most places they advise you to stay on the path so they are not just making eggs but they can also bake bread the hazer just blow up and i miss it now i have to wait around 20 more minutes it seems that here there used to be a hot spring but after the 2008 earthquake the hot spring uh, vanished funny story about it i just read it people used to throw their garbage there when it erupted it threw the garbage all over the places all over the houses so i think that you can call that karma trash went back to where it belonged so yeah for the mud bath you have to pay extra but you can put your feet on the hot water and the guy was telling me that although the water starts at 100 degrees by the time it reaches that small pool it's around 37 degrees and i believe this hazer should erupt soon i guess the wind is keeping us safe so the water doesn't reach us <laughs> and the water reaches yeah now I'm... I talk too soon I'm all wet now So yeah, that's it for my pants today And let me tell you something The reason why the fence is so little is because the water is warm Because I was reading that uh, when this one erupted some guy died because of the burns I should have brought another pants I have my waterproof pants, so maybe I can change I'm still all wet I'm practically, I'm walking with my wet jeans and t-shirt because even my jacket got wet but this jacket is so good that my t-shirt is dry at least but yeah, it was quite an experience how many people can say they took a shower from a hazel? Okay, new stop. We made this stop to see only this. The little statue made of wood of a puffin. There you have. Now we can go back to the car. New stop and we are going to see a new waterfall. On this one we can go through the waterfall. This place it's incredible. I wasn't expecting this. So supposedly you can go behind the waterfall. This is impressive. I'm running and hiding behind these rocks so I don't get wet. But I think I might get wet anyway. Look how the water is going like this. Let's wait until he moves so we can go through. Oh, there's actually another passage here. I didn't need to wait for him. This valley. It's just incredible and beautiful. I think though 
that the best view was when we were coming from that side to this side. There's no much more to see today. We want to see the wreck of an airplane that should be laying on a beach. Uh, that should be the next stop for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be our last day at Iceland. Um, everything good must come to an end. Um, so tomorrow we will drop part of the group at the airport and then we will go to the Blue Lagoon where we are going to just chill and relax for the rest of the day. We need to check out and we are going to check in on a B&B close to the airport. That's going to be convenient because on the next day we are flying to uh, back to the Netherlands. I was going to the car when I saw these cars which are way nicer than my car. Look at this, look at these old cars. I think I have never seen in my life some of those. I didn't know which brand they are. NSU Prince. Two cylinders, 1958. Wow, look at these cars. I've seen this one in many old American movies. This one could use some care. I can't believe I found this. This is my favorite. I would love to take this one to for a ride. Now I'm thinking that this is big enough to be a museum. Yeah, this is definitely a car museum. They also have some weapons. So I just saw it. It's not only about cars, it's called Technical Museum. And you can pay for the car in there. It cost 750. There's also a QR at the entrance of the waterfall park, but you can also go to the museum and do it. And here we are in the middle of nowhere to see the wrecks of an airplane. And according to the sign, it's four hours, but I asked some people and it took them one to two hours to do everything. Oh, yeah, it was a shuttle. The plane wreck shuttle. Uh, maybe we can catch it on the way back. We can't see it because we are a bit higher than where the beach is. So at some point, probably when we reach the beach, we are going a bit down. This is like a black desert. The sand is black and there it goes. And there's the cabin. I can't believe after all these years, this is still here. So one of the rules was don't go up the airplane. Guess what people are doing? They are going up the airplane. So yeah, fuck the rules, right? Holy shit, this is crazy. Huh, the cabin was here. Do you think these were shots, artillery? that hit the airplane and made it fall. It looks like it got heavy fire. And so on the way back, we'll take the bus. As you can see, there's nowhere to cover. So of course we could add two more stops. But yeah, basically here there's a black beach and there are some columns. I forgot the name of the columns, but it's a, it's a highlight. So yeah, let's take a quick look, and it should be that. It's like a cave. And I believe those are the columns. Look at the sand. It's really similar to the one that we saw at the Far West. The difference is that here looks darker. So the sea waves are so dangerous that they have different levels. It seems that the waves can be a bit sneaky and drag you into the sea. What a day. It's almost 11 and we have finally arrived to the Airbnb. I'm really tired. I need to pack because tomorrow we have to check out 
Uh, we have to go to the Blue Lagoon and then check in on the on an BNB next to the airport. So yeah, I'm going to pack and call it a day.